This is not the view Altamaha Riverkeeper Fletcher Sams wants of St. Simon's Sound, but it's one he's left with, he says, because of the carelessness of what happened to the Golden Ray two and a half years ago. I do feel like the, the lawsuit that, that I read was fully and totally appropriate. He's been documenting the environmental impacts the ship's capsize has had on the animals and fishermen since September 2019. He's in favor of this lawsuit filed by Glen County government against Golden Ray's owner and the salvage crew. We're still seeing a good amount of fuel out there. The lawsuit alleges the ship, which was carrying more than 4,000 cars, was loaded top heavy, leaving it in an unstable condition. It also describes the sporadic discharges of oil being spotted in nearby shorelines, rivers, and marshes. Sams has been advocating for a natural resources damage assessment since the capsize to fully understand the impacts the leaks have had. One of the things that we would really like to know is, is how much uh, fuel was left in the sound. Um, and we still don't have the answer to that question. The lawsuit also alleges the capsize became a financial nuisance. The county suffered harm and injury to its properties, leases, revenue, and tax base. Sam says he wants accountability. This is about restoring the natural resources that, that are a big driver of the economy in, in coastal Georgia. We reached out to the ship's owner and the salvage company, as well as the lawyers representing Glen County, but we have not heard back. Robert Bradfield, First Coast News, on your side.